Ladies and gentlemen, with the planet parade we have happening now, we are definitely watching the activity ramp up across the board. So, we've just had a 6.7 earthquake in the Philippines. It originally came out as a magnitude 6.9. It has now been switched to 10 kilometers deep. When it was originally reported, it was 33 kilometers deep. So that means it's probably shallower and more destructive. And then we've got the tall volcano in the Philippines also steaming out. So it is definitely go time in 2020 as 2020 continues to get 2020-er. Volcano time lapse letting us know through the CNN Philippines that 33 minutes ago, the tall volcano is letting out some steam. The Fivolix reminds the public that at alert level one is raised over the volcano, which means steam driven explosions, volcanic earthquakes and minor ash fall can occur. And so, you know, we are going through, at least in the United States of America, a major summer of record heat waves. And we are seeing earthquakes and volcanoes, especially the volcano activity is very, very, very high in 2020, all pretty much across the globe and especially around the ring of fire. And then on top of that, we've got some interesting trends happening on the west coast of the United States. We're looking at all earthquakes over the last seven days on this one. And you can see we had a big bunch in Oklahoma, more to the east. But more interesting, we've definitely had some salt and sea swarms. But if we break it down to, we're getting some interesting strips and collections of smaller earthquakes across the West Coast. This is uh, Copper Mountain, uh, Idaho cluster, presumably an old iron mining situation we got a scar of activity happening in california near death valley where they had that 130 degree temperatures yesterday the good news is it cooled down to 127 degrees today but you had 130 degree temperature yesterday which broke the record setting there in 1913 i'll remind everybody again the last verified volcano eruption in california was in 1913 or 1915 i forget but it's one of those two years. And then we've got quite the scar of earthquakes happening in Nevada. I mean, that's, we've got quite a few swarms happening in several West Coast Indian places. So I'm just pointing out that it is kind of strange to see so many elongated clusters. That's what we're seeing. Elongated clusters or elongated swarms. Great, now Elon's going to try and take credit for it. That's fine. And so we got that super high pressure dome that is leading to long, consistent heat waves. Um, we got a solar storm that is going to hit on August 20th. That will increase earthquake and volcano activity, in my opinion, and probably even people acting a little crazy and a little wild. So the energy is going to be pretty dang intense, in my opinion. So we are on Asteroid Fight Club red 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 alert technically we're on the highest red alert we've ever been but stay cool because if you keep your heart in the right place and play excellent defense you will survive the greatest party ever in 2022 so the sun continues to give us surprises sunspots and solar flares and the earth continues to give us earthquakes and volcano eruptions and then people Continue to fight, because I guess that's all they know how to do, is they need conflict all the time. It's weird, though, man. i much rather have a good time, you know? And so, like, let's try to stay positive, bro. We are going to make it through this, but Mother Nature, Earth, and the universe, the solar system, and even our fellow human beings are going to throw everything and the kitchen sink at us. And so, you know, everybody just stay cool. It's going to keep getting weirder. It's going to keep getting 2020 -er all year. Hey, we were made for this. All right. And then all that super heat and possible magma movement 
is going to make the hurricane situation even that much more interesting. Well, the super high pressure helps make everything super duper hot. Special shout out to Greg Weather Guy, the best weatherman on the planet. I highly recommend you follow him on Twitter for all the latest uh, weather updates. That dude is so cool and rocks, but he gets cranky sometimes. Oh, crap. This is just a random shot of a beautiful woman and her art. So, yeah, planets, sun, earthquakes, volcanoes, comets, asteroids, auroras, superheroes, and then supervillains. It's Astro Fight Club. Maxed out 2020. And the record heat is only going to make people extra agitated. So, there's never been a better time to be cool and work together with a bunch of cool people. All right, everybody, have a great day. Have a great night. Let's have a great week. Let's finish August strong and just know we're going to be tested in every way. All right, God is good. You're pretty awesome, too. All right, stay cool. God bless everyone.